How's it going everyone? This is Medcat here, and today we're going to be talking about our compass plots, specifically northern, western, southwestern, southern, and eastern plots. Really, it's quite basic at the end of the day, because what we need to know is that northern, western, southern, and eastern blots all assay or look for the presence of specific types of molecules. A northern blot is going to be looking for specific types of RNA molecules, or ribonucleic acids, things like messenger RNA, for example. A western blot is going to be looking for the presence of proteins, which of course are made up of amino acids. A southern blot will be looking at DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. A southwestern blot will be looking at DNA binding proteins. And finally, an eastern blot will be looking at protein post-translational modification. This one needs a little bit of explaining here. So post-translational refers to after translation, of course. And that translation refers to the ribosome actually translating what the mRNA is saying in its language of nucleic acids to a new language, that new language being amino acids. So post-translational means after the protein has already been translated. And there are a couple of different things we can do to a protein to modify it. One of those could be phosphorylation. This is probably the most common type. Another thing that we can do is glycosylation. So glyco meaning sugar. So all this means is we are adding a sugar onto our molecule. And finally, a less common one, but still one we can use, is prenylation, which is adding a lipid or fat molecule onto something. And this isn't an exhaustive list of all the post-translational modifications that you can see, but they are a good starting list here. Now to help you out, we have a common mnemonic that people not only studying for the MCAT use, but also studying for uh, USMLE step one in medical school also use, which is snowdrop. If we write snow vertically and drop vertically as well, we can match the S and the D, the N and the R, we'll skip the O, and the W and the P. The S will stand for southern, the D will stand for DNA. So we know southern corresponds to DNA. N will stand for northern, R will stand for RNA. Therefore, we know northern blot is going to look at RNA. We won't take a look at the O, but Western will correspond with protein. Okay. I like this mnemonic because it covers probably the most commonly tested blots that we look at on the MCAT, which are Southern, Northern, and Western. However, these don't cover the lower yield Eastern and Southwestern blot, which might be good to be familiar with just to be exhausted and make sure you know everything for test day but I would really expect Southern, Northern, and Western to be tested more often. That being said, let's take a look at a double AMC derived practice problem. Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself before we go over it. Hopefully you've given this problem a chance before we go over it, but having read through it, we should see that our correct answer will be Eastern block based on what we went over before, because if we look and see what Eastern blot was doing. It was looking at protein post-translational modification, and one of those ways was phosphorylation. Specifically, we're looking at the phosphorylation here of pyruvate dehydrogenase, because we're phosphorylating specific tyrosine residues on that pyruvate dehydrogenase. And this is actually based on a research article that I read where pyruvate dehydrogenase dehydrogenase is actually regulated by phosphorylation at a tyrosine residue. So feel free to click the link down below if you're interested more about that. Of course, that is not an MCAT specific type of thing to study. It's definitely outside of the scope of the MCAT. But this is the type of problem that you may see on test day. That's it for today's MedCAT video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.